out of ten, got you playing pretend. Nine out of ten, here we go again. Here's what sticking to the uh, eye kick philosophy uh, is doing to Jake Walters. I mean, only a month. Hi guys, Jake Walter here. Uh, I know quarantine can get very boring at times, but here are some kicking drills that you could do during quarantine to uh, keep up, I guess. Two really quick things. First, sorry I have my shirt off because it's very humid in here and it's raining a lot. Secondly, you cannot just be doing drills. You have to be working out. You have to keep yourself in shape, go running, eat healthy, all that good stuff. Because otherwise your leg is just not going to get stronger and none of this is going to work and pay off for you. All right, so the equipment that you need for your first drill is a tee. Uh, but if you don't have a tee, you can just get some tape, uh, put it on the floor. And a uh, really good thing that you could also use for this drill, you get a mirror. Uh, this will really help you if you have a mirror for this drill. So get those three things and then we're going to get to it. This is what the, uh, the setup should look like. You got your tape here, you have your mirror. And what you want to do is you want to have your tee, put your tee in line with the tape. And if, if you don't have a tee, that's completely fine. So then what you want to do is you want to put your plant foot like you're setting up to kick it. Then you want to lock your leg out, as you can see, in line with the tee. Sweet spot of your foot right here is in line with the tee. And then all you want to do is just go back slowly. Make sure that the sweet spot on your foot is going through the tape and then follow, up, follow through a little bit off to the side. So going fast, it should look like this. second drill you can do you're gonna have the exact same setup what you want to do is it's gonna be the exact same thing but you just want to go hundred percent and act like you're actually kicking a ball even though there's no ball there this is what it should look like going fast all right so third and final drill for this one you're gonna need a ball you're gonna need your tee and you're gonna need a holder if you don't have a holder you can just use a, uh, a kickoff stand or whatever you have laying around the house like a cone or something like these kind of cones, you can just put the ball onto the hole of the cone. It works perfectly fine. Just whatever you have around the house, you can use for this one. All right, so for this one, you want to set up the ball like you normally would if you were kicking. But what you want to do is be careful around the mirror here. I'm, I'm out of risk because I have a mirror in the way. But you want to get into the same stance that you were in the last two drills. And at first, if you need to, go slow. You want to swing back stop right before you hit the ball. The more you do this, the better contact you're gonna get when you're actually on the field and you're running up to the ball. Get faster as you get closer to the ball. So here, that's kind of slow. Get closer to the ball, but if you have to go kind of a little bit faster, the faster you can go without hitting the ball, the better. All right, so that was the video. Hopefully you guys got something out of this. Uh, the drills do help. I've been using them, trust me. They do help. But yeah, once again, hopefully you got something out of this. I uh, hope you're having a great day. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace. I cannot see anything until literally up to here, so I can't uh, do much until up to here. Video wise, it's just too good than the entire approach and all. So, going on this.
you don't get too bad of a plant in. Kind of, kind of deep. I'd like it a little deeper. Uh, a little bit crunched up here. Body wise. It's still a little bit too much crunched up laid back here. Need to be uh, uh, going more momentum like more with the ball. It looks like as you can see your body and everything is leaning up, not going with, if that makes sense. So you're up and then, okay, if you come back down and you're at a pretty good position here, you're not, you don't look up right away, so good, there's just a quick eval, uh, you do through, you hit your first step down, and then you begin to look up, um, looks like you had a pretty good lunge there, uh, good height, uh, and let's then go back on the ball contact. So, let's see, we hit this thing. So, yeah, you do hit it a little low, like I was expecting, because you do get a really, really high or uh, arc hit off the bat, and uh, this is great for a close range uh, kicking. Uh, your goal is a great technique, great, great consistency, great everything for uh, short range field goals right here. Uh, this should be your uh, pretty much your your bread and butter right here. This is uh, this is not bad and uh, best up I've seen, uh, especially for uh, close range uh, for you, Jacob. Uh, so everybody scout, everybody recruit, everybody uh, getting this out there, Jake Walters. Uh, Looking to play college ball, contact me please uh, at ikick underscore training. Uh, ikick underscore training with uh, on Instagram and uh, get at me for Jake Walton. Uh, get the word out, Jake Walton up the time. He's going to be the next best. I'm out. Ikick virtual professional kicking. Look at the training DM the Instagram to the potential coach. Join it and uh, much more. Body wise. Yeah, this is a future uh, big. Uh, I cannot see anything until literally up to here, so I can't uh, do much until up to here. Video wise, it's just too good the entire approach and all stuff. So going on this. You don't get too bad of a plant in. Kind of, kind of deep. I'd like it a little deeper. Uh, a little bit crunched up here, body wise. It's still a little bit, uh, you do through, you hit your first step down, and then you begin to look up. Um, looks like you had a pretty good lunge there. Uh, good height, uh, and let's then go back on the ball contact. So, let's see, we hit this thing. So, yeah, you do hit it a little low, like I was expecting, because you do get a really, really high or uh, arc hit off the bat. And uh, this is great for a close range uh, kicking uh, field goal. It's a great technique, great, great consistency, great everything for uh, short range field goals right here. 
uh, this should be your uh, pretty much your your bread video on. It's just to win the entire approach and all so going on this. You don't get too bad of a plant in, kind of, kind of deep. I'd like it a little deeper, a uh, little bit crunched up here, body wise. And still a little bit too much crunched up, laid back here. Need to be. Uh, uh, going more momentum like more with the ball it looks like as you can see your body and everything is leaning up not going with if that makes sense so This is a future uh, big, uh, I cannot see anything until literally up to here, so I can't uh, do much until up to here. Video wise, it's just too big, the entire approach and all stuff. So going on this. You don't get too bad of a plant in, kind of, kind of deep, I'd like it a little deeper, uh, a little bit crunched up here, body wise. And still a little bit too much crunched up laid back.